Colonel, Major, report. Oh, we've had a pretty thrilling week. Two days ago, Dr. Thompson lost his glasses. And just this morning, the electron microscope broke down. Wow. Yeah, nonstop excitement. Well, we'll take it from here. You're relieved. Yes, sir. Major Griff. Dr. Hamilton. Do you realize that we still haven't received those replacement parts for the backup generator? Oh, I put the requisition in three days ago. Well, that's just not good enough. We obviously need to have a serious talk about our supply procedure. Well, unfortunately, doctor, I've just been relieved. But I'm sure Colonel O'Neill would love to discuss it with you. Love is the word. Colonel O'Neill, is it? I don't know if this is a military thing generally or if it's just Major Griff's incompetence, but I can't seem to get anything I ask for. Come. Samantha, Sam, good to see you again. Come in, sit down, sit down. It's good to see you too, sir, thank you. Well, well, well. So, how was the lecture? Well, uh, no one fell asleep. <laughs> Very impressive. Thank you, sir. I did have an interesting encounter with one of your cadets, Jennifer Haley. Caught your eye, did she? I thought she might. She pointed out a mistake in a complex equation that changed the result completely. But I couldn't believe it. Here, give this a read. Once you brush the chip off her shoulder, she reminds me of another bright young cadet who came through here a few years back. I have no idea who you're talking about, sir. Cadet Haley is a very smart young woman. Her SATs were through the roof, even higher than yours. Unfortunately, she's sometimes too smart for her own damn good. Professor Monroe said she has discipline problems. The kid's bored. Came here for a challenge, but uh, it's not enough for her. Not enough? Wait, this is just the beginning of her career. How could she possibly know what's ahead for her? I know, but she doesn't see it, Sam. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I see her potential. Her physical skills are terrific despite her size. She's an expert marksman, superb glider pilot. But that's not all there is to becoming an Air Force officer. If she keeps insisting on doing things her own way, then... I'd like to talk to her, sir, if that's okay. I was hoping you'd say that. Who said that? He did. Oh, for... Colonel O'Neill. Dr. Lee tells me you've denied our request to conduct a survey of the cave network. No. I just asked him to wait until I could have a chance to check it out. With no regard for our timetable. None whatsoever. Colonel, what exactly do you expect to find in there? Look, Doctor. This is another planet. Actually, it's a moon. We're orbiting that gas giant. Oh, well, if it's a moon, go ahead, do whatever you want. What could happen? Colonel, this outpost has been up and running for six weeks now without the slightest hint of anything remotely dangerous. You can explore the caves once they've been checked out. Any more pressing matters? None whatsoever. Oh, yeah? 